Good evening folks, uh, tonight we're going to look at some retro tech uh, from 1992 in the form of this, the Amstrad NC100 notepad computer. Uh, and before we go any further, for those of you who don't know, Amstrad, uh, if you watch The Apprentice, you'll be familiar with Sir Alan Sugar. And Amstrad stands for Alan Michael Sugar Trading. Um, so yeah, a little fact of the day for you. Um, so... Yeah, I got this at a car boot sale uh, a short while ago. I paid £2.50 for it, would you believe? Uh, and that included the power supply. Um, the cable was a bit, how would you describe it, spirally. Um, I think just by the way it's been stored. But it is functional and it still has a protective film on it. Uh, I'll plug that in in preparation. So let's, uh, yeah, let's have a look at it. Uh, it came with the, the case, as you can see. The only thing it didn't come with was the box, unfortunately, uh, and the, the manual was missing, but you can get it online if you need it. Now, the good thing about this is it is immaculate. There is not a mark on it. It is in superb condition as it was when it came out of the box. And uh, you will note that's not a scratch on the screen. It still has the uh, protective film over the, the LCD. Um, it really is in, in, in neat condition. Uh, so let's just have a look around it. On the right hand side we've got our contrast for the screen. Um, 6 volt DC in. We've got an RS-232 serial port and a parallel port. Um, on the left hand side we've got a memory uh, card, a uh, PC card that is, uh, which allows you to expand the memory from 64 kilobytes to, to 1 megabyte. Um, on to the bottom then, we've got a CR2032 in there for um, memory backup. Um, we've got our uh, four double A's slot uh, to give us a six volts to power it. And uh, we've got a couple of legs, um, which obviously gives a, a different viewing angle. Um, just looking at the serial number here, I'm not sure if that's the fifth week of 1995, possibly could be. I'm not sure um, when they stopped producing this, but you know, 92 it came out, so realistically it could be 95, I suppose. Um, the CPU inside this is the venerable uh, Z80, uh, and it's running at 4 megahertz. Um, yeah, so it didn't need to be super powerful because um, it was, uh, you know, just a basic notepad computer. Um, wasn't as popular. Uh, as I think they'd hoped. Um, I mean, obviously the other famous Amstrad computers, you've got your um, your 1512s and, and that sort of thing, you know, your, your business type PCs. And uh, of course we had the CPC 464, which did sell in tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands uh, in the UK. Uh, so it wasn't as popular as that, but you still, you did see a lot of uh, businessmen at the time and, and stuff like that. People like that uh, did use it. Uh, as it was quite capable and it was quite advanced for its time. Well, as advanced as, you know, not advanced obviously in compared to today's technology and capabilities of smartphones, etc. But at the time it was uh, pretty ahead of the drag curve, should we, should we say. Um, okay, so it's a, a non-standard keyboard if you like. Uh, and the main functions are, funnily enough, controlled by the function key. Uh, the three main things you'll see is words, calculate and diary. Uh, and we'll, we'll have a look at those. So we'll just press the power button and bring those up. I shall just uh, zoom in slightly. And adjust the contrast. How's that for you? Looks alright to me. Yeah, so, yeah, function key controls them, so control, it, sorry, function is basically what's in the colours, so function is yellow, so yellow and red gets your word processor, green and blue, respectively, calculator and diary. Uh, so we'll have a look at the, the word processor, uh, to start a new document, press red, type a name for the document, we'll call it, um, you know, NC100, and then press the... NC100 and then press return and then we can just type away uh, press stop takes us back to the menu and if I press green we can see NC100 at the top there and just press return and it takes us straight back in 
stop always takes you back to the, the menu and then stop again will take you back to the previous menu. Uh, we've also got the option to print our documents um, using a parallel uh, printer. Uh, okay, uh, we've got calculator, function green, and we're just using, as it says, use the green numbers on the keyboards and press stop to exit. So, um, 8 times 8 equals 64. Yeah, a bit excessive uh, using the whole screen. Um, but yeah, I suppose it was functional. And stop, and then we have our diary function, which gives us an address book, calendar and diary, and time manager. So, um, yeah, so add names and address to, to your address book, put entry in your, your calendar for uh, you know, meetings, etc. And then the time manager, we've got alarm calls, uh, facility to edit those for alarm calls, and we can uh set our time zone so if we went to for instance to a different um time zone on business we could set that so that uh you know it was accurate to to the location we were in at the time um there's a secret menu which has got all our sort of settings if you like uh not like a bios but you know kind of like a your bios settings uh time and date and what you want things to do and it did have if we do function s it did have a serial terminal as well, so we could uh, transfer uh, data across that RS-232 port uh, and, you know, put programs into memory, etc. And uh, one of the big sellers, and I think why some educational establishment used it, was it did have uh, BBC Basic uh, was licensed. I'm not sure if it was licensed, I'm not sure if it was open source or whatever, but ultimately it had Basic. Um, so... Um, you know, to print, uh, whatever. <laughs> Hello world, 20, go to 10, 30, run. In fact, no, it wasn't, it was this run, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so that, I just thought I'd give you a quick, uh, a quick look at that. Um, say from 1992 so it's a fair few years old uh really pleased with the condition this is in this will definitely remain in my collection of retro uh, bits and bobs and computers and such like um and an absolute steal i'm sure you'll agree at two pounds fifty uh as of uh 2016 yeah so i got it not that long ago and uh yeah bargain so yeah i hope you found that interesting um Give us a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you soon for another video. Take care. Bye bye.